All right, good evening to those of you who are coming in by way of Facebook Live. <coughs> God, this is one of those evenings that the pastor should be at home. I am full of cold, but I think it was P.T. Burnham that said, and the show must go on. So I'm here. I'm here not feeling good at all. But there are some things that need to be said, and I can't say them at the house. And I've already taped one show for today, uh, which is going to be airing on Thursday. But I'm doing a show, and I look at er everything that is happening in our community. I'm doing a show entitled tonight, How Evil Have You Allowed Your Child to Become? And again, so I ain't going to be pulling no punches tonight because like I said, I am, this is one of those evenings that I should be at home laying in the comfort of my super king size bed with my remote in my hand with a glass of Hennessy uh, in my hand as well. But I'm here and I'm ready to do what I do. So go ahead and share this page uh, with your friends, your loved ones, your enemies. And if you have no enemies, then you can have some of mine. Uh, but the title again tonight, How Evil Have You Allowed Your Child to Become? That's the subject matter on tonight. And I'm going to make it through. Ooh, I, I got my hat on because the studio it's cold and uh, I got to protect my head. You have to protect your head. I mean, when you get, you know what I'm talking about. See some of y'all finna be nasty. <sighs> Good evening to all of you who are coming in on Facebook Live. Thank you so very much for joining the pastor on this evening. I'm, I'm sick as I can be. And I get just like a baby when I get sick. I can't stand being sick. Uh, 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 mm, all right. And don't y'all start sending me all y'all homemade remedies and all of that stuff. Oh. But I'm ready to do the damn thing. Though. So, will y'all excuse me having a, a hat on my head tonight? I started to put on my Steelers outfit. Put my Steelers cap on and all of that, but that might have been too much for some of y'all to take. So uh, I'll wear it maybe tomorrow night or the next night. Mm. All right, we're getting ready to do this thing. No, Gary Eugene, this is not pre recorded. Then I just said that, that I'm in the studio live. I cut a show for Thanksgiving early this morning so this is my second show for today mm. I bet some good old boiled lemon water will have no when I get to the house I'm gonna get me some I'm gonna make me one of them toddy things uh, put me a little brown liquor in it a little honey a mm -hmm, little lemon and uh yeah, Byron, you're right. I, I need to rest. That's what I'm going to do all day Thanksgiving until I get up and go get my little chitlins and, and stuff. Turn it up for me, Linda, so I can feel my the groove. Opinion expressed on this talk show are those of the talk show hosts, the producers, and or persons appearing on the program and do not reflect the views and opinions of the Thank y'all for explaining that to Gary. This program may include strong images <clears> and, <throat> and may not be suitable for all audiences. You gotta get him a groove. Y'all ready? Yeah. 
Y'all know y'all got the wrong intro, right? Huh? That's the old intro. That's when I was fat. Safe it is absolutely positively not. I have not seen that intro in two years. Uh, they've changed the system here uh, at the SVP TV network and they put one of my old intro intros into the system. Well, y'all put my, my latest one back in tomorrow if y'all get a chance to get this echo out of me. Thank you. Uh, but that, that was good, though. I, I, I still like it. That was in five years. This is the one that you normally see is my third uh, intro in five years. But in a way, just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely, positively not. Again, welcome to Steel, the most controversial, the hardest hitting, the most informative, the most provocative, the most non-politically correct television talk show anywhere on the planet and this evening I should be at home in the bed I do not feel good whatsoever this I have a nagging cold that is nagging me and I just feel bad and please don't start sending me y'all uh, your home remedies I'm, I'm going to be alright when I leave I'm going home and make me one of them Old folk, old tallies. Put me a little brown liquor in a cup. Put me a little lemon, a little honey in it. And then I'm going to sweat. Yeah, so thank you so very much. But I get like a big baby when I, when I get these colds and things. I usually only get a cold once a year. Then I walked into the studio. The studio was ice cold. So I thought I'd keep my little cap on my head. I got to protect my head. You know, so make sure my head and everything stays warm. But good evening to you. Again, I'm going to do what I do. This is my, really, actually, this is my second show for today. I take the show earlier today for Thanksgiving. I am going to rest. I am going to stay in my bed all day on Thursday. I will only take calls from people that I know is calling me about some money. If it ain't about money, or if ain't one of my members are not sick, then uh, I will not be having an engaging in conversation. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I should stay home, but I, I gotta do uh, what I got to do. There's some things that need to be discussed. I haven't put on suit all week. I don't think I had one, one last week. Uh, because it's just it's just cool out there. In fact, it's just outright cold on the outside. On tomorrow, Dale and I, and I, and I want to thank those of you who supported our blanket uh, drive. We've got about 120 uh, some blankets. And the blanket drive was all about there are many people in the city of Memphis that sleep outdoors every night. They're sleeping in the parks. They're sleeping on park benches. They're laying on the ground. They're sleeping in alleys. They're sleeping under bridges in the city of Memphis. And I believe that as a pastor in this community, that outreach is the most important thing of ministry. Sunday morning, getting together, that is fine. I enjoy it, and I'm good at what I do on Sunday morning. But 
what God has called us to do is to be a part of outreach. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, we are. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm driving the church van tomorrow. We're going to fill the van up with the blankets, and we're going into the hedges and the highways, and we're going to be giving people who are sleeping outdoors in the parks and things, we're going to give them blankets to keep some of the elements off of them. I know I'll be in the downtown area. If you have other areas that you know of where someone is homeless, I ain't talking about these folk that stand on the end of the expressway because many of them ain't, uh, them ain't homeless. They, that's their job. But you know of somebody that's sleeping somewhere. You know of some family that is sleeping outdoors under the viaducts and things of that nature that I may not be aware of. Text me, let me know, email me, let me know where these individuals are. I want to make sure that these people at least have some comfort in knowing that there is somebody that is involved in this organized thing that we call church that gives a damn about them. And that's what the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries is all about. We're getting ready to partake of our Daddy Bears Kids, where I am going to make sure that at least 50 children in our community have a gift on Christmas Day. I need your help, and I, and I need your support in doing what we're going to do. Last year, when I was in the Douglas community and we worked with an organization out of that community, we were able to do 26 children, toys, clothing. Uh, I think we gave away about 12 brand new bicycles. Well, now that we are in the Raleigh community, and this is not limited to people that's in the Raleigh community, if you have a child or you have a grandchild or you know of someone who really needs help, because I check things out, they really need help with their child, what I'm asking you to do is to get involved. Let me know who they are. If it's your child, I ain't buying no cell phones, we ain't buying no computers, but we're going to make sure that your child has a nice gift. And in some cases, you get two or three different things. I want to be a part of making our community a better place. Not just hooping and hollering, running and jumping on a Sunday morning. That ain't about nothing. If we're not out here in the hedges and highways trying to help our fellow man. All you got to do, put up my email address. Put up, you can put up the Naked Truth email address if you have that one. Do you have that one, uh, Linda? Uh, just send me the name of the child, the age of the child, and what that child needs. I can't hear her at all. No, no, I can't hear through that window. Okay. The, yeah, Thaddeus, well, that's my personal email, so you can send it there. Thaddeus.Matthews at gmail.com. Thaddeus.Matthews at gmail.com. Send your name. Send your request. I think, how many children do we have so far? We've got 11 children so far, so we got quite a few to go. So I want to be of a help to those children. Thaddeus.Matthews at gmail.com. That's my personal Gmail email account. Send your request, send your information, or just send whatever you need to send me to that particular email address. Thaddeus.Matthews at gmail.com if you would like to be a contributor to what we're doing put up the uh, the giveify and the uh, paypal I'm, I'm not playing when I when I talk about ministry I, I, it's this is a personal thing for me that we must be a part of changing and transforming lives Naked Truth is a transformation center where we, we're non-traditional. As Bill Atkins would say, this ain't your grandmama's church. I ain't traditional. I'm from the streets. I'm, 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 
I'm from the hood. I liked it when you had it bigger, Linda. Uh, I'm, 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 look, let me tell you, that's the giver five. Let's go back to the, uh, the PayPal first, Linda. Okay. Those of you who have a PayPal account, I need your help and I need your support. PayPal.me forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. Send me $10, $20, $30, $50, $100, whatever it is. You see that Naked Truth is a ministry that's not just talking the talk, but we're walking the walk. I'm not a pastor that gets paid. I don't get one dime from ministry. It all, all of the income goes into the ministry, the upkeep of the building, the maintaining of the building, and going into the various resources that we have. PayPal.me forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. I surely would appreciate if you would. Those of you who said that you don't, you can't get through on PayPal, we also have what is called Giveify, which a lot of ministries use. Take me to the Giveify. Uh, there it is right there, Naked Truth, Liberation and Empowerment Ministries at Giveify.com. Send us something. Let us know that you, you are supportive of what we are doing. Thank you so very much. Now, let me get into what I want to talk about on tonight. When I look at what is happening here in the city of Memphis with the senseless killings that are happening in this, in this city. Black folk killing black folk. Our young people have lost their minds. Yeah. Some of our young men are just downright evil. They're demonic. They're wastes of oxygen. When I look at those idiots that were in the Oak Court Mall, you got to be an idiot. You got to be a damn fool. You 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 just Got to be. I'm talking about Artavius Lipsy, Jaylene Bell, Terrence Jones, and Tracy Woodall. How are you going to be in the mall with illegal weapons and then go Facebook Live? How you do that? How stupid can you be? See, Facebook has turned a lot of folks into damn fools. Facebook has turned a lot of you folk into uh, wannabe reporters, uh, news people, uh, and, and then you're just broadcasting everything that you find on Facebook. So I was sitting in the office and I was thinking as I was trying to battle this cold, what am I going to talk about? And then I decided the subject tonight would be how evil have you allowed your child to become? How evil have you as a parent allowed your child to become? Your child a damn fool. Your child's a murderer. He's a thief. He's a liar. How evil have you allowed your child to become? And, and, and it's time in this community that we purge ourselves of this evilness. It's time for us to have a seance, an exorcism, or an execution to deliver us from the evilness that's in our community, from people who just don't give a damn about nobody's life, including their own. 
Yo, yo child, yo child. You, 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 you remember when your child was just a bundle of joy. You goo gooed and ah ah. That's mama's baby. You, you, you remember those days when you couldn't get enough of hugging and kissing on them. They were all that you wanted and everything that you dreamed they would be. They were just sweet little children. Then one day just out of the clear blue sky the sweet baby smell goes away. The wide toothless grin turns into a pout. The beautiful deep eyes now they roll at you. You were smitten with them when they were a baby, taken when he was a toddler, but when he turned two, you refused to set any rules in your house. Old folks used to say, when he knows yes from no, he's tough enough. Then some of you, as, as, as parents, y'all say, uh, they just babies. They don't need rules at this age. But because many of you have decided not to spank them when needed, they think now that they can whoop you. Hmm. Many of you have children that you fear. You feed them, you provide for them, you uh, make sure they get a roof over their heads, but you have allowed that which you gave birth to now to raise you. You, you become buddies with your child. You, you fear him because he's gotten taller than you. But I, I remember my great grandmama saying, I don't care how, how, how old you get, I'll climb up on a ladder and beat your ass. I, I wish I could get a witness in this house. Y'all y'all remember when the old folk used to say that? I, the old folk used to say, I, I brought you into this world and uh, I'll be the one to take you out. You, you, you remember when you didn't allow... Uh, the old folk didn't allow you to roll your eyes because if they caught you rolling your eyes, your head was going to roll. Your eyes may roll across the room. You, you, you remember when we said yes, sir, and we said no, ma'am, to the older folk. We, 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 were, we were not in that day like some of y'all are now where y'all said yeah and, 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 and no to, to your mama. Y'all remember them, them, them. Uh, 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 backhand licks that we used to get. And the reason that you have no discipline in your house now is because you didn't set no rules. You didn't want your child to follow rules. You scared of your child. Your 15, 16 year old child comes home when they want to. They go in your refrigerator where you bought the food. Cook up all your food. You know they're bringing drugs into your house, but you don't say nothing. You know that there are weapons in your house. You don't say nothing. And then that same child that you gave birth to will call you a bitch. That same child that you gave life to will call you a funky hoe. 
that same child that you gave life to will rear up as though they want to strike you. And in some instances, they will. Mm. You do know that your, 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 your child was not born that way. So the question becomes, how evil have you allowed your child to become? The reason that some of you as mothers have had to sit on the front row and boo-hoo and cry over your worthless, no good ass child is because you created that demon. Mm. Is your child evil enough to steal? At first, it, it starts off with something little, like a piece of candy, a piece of gum. Now your child robbing folk. Have you allowed your child to become evil enough to lie? They start off with them little white lies. Y'all color up the lies for them. Mama, I'm sick. I don't want to go to school. Now they lie to you about what they brought into the house. Them games and all that other stuff. And then when you ask your child, where you get that from? I found it. Old folk used to say, take it back where you found it at. They didn't allow stolen and unknown items to come into the house. Has your child become so evil that they are defiant because of you? Tantrums. Hmm. Stomping their feet, hollering at you, cussing at you in your house, and you allow it to happen. You you allow this evilness in your child to manifest itself. Some of you can't tell your child to do nothing, and it gets done. Wash the dishes. I ain't washing nothing. Then you just shake your head and you go in there and. Wash the dishes yourself. Am I making somebody feel like a fool tonight because I'm hitting you close to home? Take out the garbage. I ain't taking out nothing. You can't make me. Evilness. You, you, you allow it. You, you... 14, 15, 16 years old at 11, 12 o'clock, he's still in the streets. Has your child become so evil that he or she kills? As a little boy, he drowned the cat. Now his bad ass walking around with an unregistered, unlicensed, semi-automatic with an extended clip. Them, them fools, them, them damn fools that were in Oak Court Mall. I'm willing to bet you from a dollar to a donut hole that they still live with their mama. You mammoths are a disgrace. You'll find some excuse for his no good ass. When the police shoots his worthless ass down in the street because he pulls up a weapon, then your ass want to cry. You want to get your nappy headed ass all on the TV. They didn't have to kill my baby. He didn't have to have no gun. And the police wants to go home too.
But until we start to killing your babies, until we start to killing your no good ass stealing and robbing babies, nothing in our society is going to change in the city of Memphis. Because see, y'all trying to find somebody to blame. You, 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 you worthless parents who allow your children to do any and everything, you try to find somebody to blame. See, the white man, it's the white man, no, it ain't. No, don't blame this on the white man. Blame this on your ignorance. You're an ignorant ass mama. You're an ignorant ass daddy. And guess what? When you get an ignorant ass mama with an ignorant ass daddy, you get an ignorant ass child. Then, then some of you women, you want to play the victim game. He ain't got no daddy. He had a daddy one day. He may not have had a daddy but for one night. What kind of parents they call themselves? Dale. Or when they ain't got no man? Single parent. The, a single parent. Why you a single parent? And, and, and you good church folk. You good church folk. I'm just a single parent. But you, you get mad at me when I cuss. But y'all out there fornicating. You had you some sexes without a husband. He won't take care of the child. Well, damn. You knew his ass was broke when you met him. So I don't go along with this victim thing. You, uh, you laid down, stood up, laid on the back seat of the car, out behind the club, however you did it. Wrong. You gave up your ass, so now... You want to play the blame game. You didn't even know Pookie's name. But you gave it up. You got pregnant. All he bought you was some hot wings and some fries and a few pieces of celery. You gave it up. You got pregnant. Now you want to play the victim. And instead of raising the child, you mad at the child for getting here. Be mad at your stupid ass. See, look at yourself in the mirror. You the one you, you ought to be mad at. You are breeding this evilness that has come forth and taken place in our community. I'm going to get ready to take a commercial break. And as I said, I'm feeling real bad on tonight. I get this cold and this Oh, it's messing with me bad. But long as I can maintain my voice enough to do what I'm doing, then I'm going to do it. But your child is evil. And this time, see, let me say this before I go to commercial break. Some of your evil children cannot be rehabilitated. They're the sons and daughters of demons. They are under the influence of demonic oppression and possession. And the only thing we can do for some of y'all's children is to kill them. It takes a village to raise a... What does it say? Take a village to raise a, 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 a raise a child. No. I'm so tired of you wanting somebody else to do for your child what you're supposed to be doing. It takes you to raise your child. It takes a village. The village should lay down and make bronquisha. Scripture says, train up a child in the way he or she should go, not in the way that they want to go, so that when they get old, they don't depart from it. 
It ain't nobody's responsibility to raise your child but you. I'm a little horse. Let's take a commercial break and we'll be right back. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Ooh, let me take this hole. <coughs> huh? Do what? Oh. Is my voice sounding bad on TV? It's okay right now. Huh? You, you, you know, you can name them, but it's okay. Ugh. Let me suck on this thing up. It'll be better. Do what? What? Girl, I can't read no lips. You over there sitting in the dog. Oh, God. Yeah, that alcohol sells cold. I think I may have some of that at the house. My boy sound all right to y'all. We're good. Somebody anyway, hell. I really do. I know you do. A hot toddy tonight, y'all. Thank you, Keisha. And hello to New York. Jay Jordan, you don't know what a hot toddy is, boy. How old are you? That's when you get you some brown liquor, some honey, and some lemon, and you make yourself a tea. Yeah, uh, you already got lemon and honey in tonight. I'm gonna stop at Walgreens on my way in. Okay. I ain't gonna take no bunch of garlic now. Hell, now y'all ain't. Mm. Lavelle, how did how did the seventy two hour blessing work for you, brother? Uh, oh, I got some Hennessy, I think, at the house. If not, I got some crown. I am tired, Shanika. I go seven days a week. Mm. Thank you, Iris. Don't you need some more by nine, LaBelle? Four 
more, four more commercials? Four more. Better be half of them. Uh, let's break it up and I'll go. Be, I'll do another one before the top of the hour. Do you have any more? Huh? How many more you say? Bring me back after this and I'll do another before the top of the hour. Okay. Jason, did you get the 72 hour blessing? Mm. 32 seconds. I do work deal to deal. Twenty seconds. <clears throat> Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and Welcome back to the Thaddeus Matthew Show. I'm, I'm sucking on a, uh, what you call these things? Cough drop. A cough drop. Halls, Mithabithus, or whatever that, that thing is. And again, I should have went home. I should have stayed home today. But the show must go on. I, I am going to take all day Thursday. That will be a show. I already taped it. I'm in the same outfit. I didn't even feel like trying to fool y'all. Uh, I'm in the same outfit. I'm doing a show. I don't even remember what the name of it is now, but it's already on Facebook. So um, we we'll, we just have to do. I just I work seven days a week. I have not had a day off. Damn. In almost in over a year. In, well, yeah, in 19 months, I have not taken any time for me or taken any days off. Last year, I did the TV show Thanksgiving live. I think the only day I took off was Christmas last year. And one of the things I do need um, is some rest. So I ain't bothering with nobody. Now I'm going to eat when I finally get up on Thanksgiving Day. But uh, that's all I'm going to do. The TV show will be on. I probably won't even look at myself on TV. I'll be wanting to work. I'll be feeling like I'm working. But mm, oh, mm. but what I'm talking about is this madness that's going on in this city. This city is demonically possessed by these evil ass children that y'all have done turned loose on us. And we've got to do something, okay? We've got to do something. We've got to do something. We've got to, we've got to say now that enough is enough. We tired of your children. We're telling you not raising your children, then turning your children loose on us, and then you feel bad when the police kill them. I don't give a damn if the police shoot your child and he out here robbing and killing. Let me just tell you the truth. You out here robbing, you out here killing, I don't care if the police shoot your child down like a dog. I don't care if he robbing, if he stealing, if he killing, Damn it, send his ass to the cemetery. We wasted too much money sending his no good ass to the penitentiary. Us has still got to pay for that. See, there's got to be a deterrence. These evil children y'all got out here, they don't give a damn about nothing. They care nothing about their life, so you know they don't care nothing about nobody else else's life. See, and I go back to them idiots. Anytime you walk in the mall, one of them had an AK-47. You got pistols. You're going Facebook Live. They don't care. They don't care. And why must we in society, why must we give a damn? 
Why should we care about your child? See, then when the police kill him, then you get one of them stupid ass Black Lives Matter Negroes want to show up with your we shall overcome uh, kumbaya singing asses. You, you want to come forth then. White policeman that shot down a black man. The black ass man was wrong. He was killing. He was robbing. He deserves to die. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for you. Thaddeus, are you saying that it's okay for the police to shoot down my black son if your black son got a gun in his hand, he robbing, he's stealing, he's killing, he's trying to do harm to somebody else, bust a cap in his ass. See, I don't have time for the political correctness. Kill him. Kill him stone dead. See, the police can't solve your problems with your child. You ain't raising your child correctly. Then you want the teachers, you want the police, you want the community to do your job that you did not do. You got that baby. What you write the juvenile court for now? You knew he was broke when you got him. He didn't have no job when he was screwing you on the grass behind the club. You heist your legs up, pulled your panties to the side. He entered, penetrated you, two strokes, got you pregnant, and now you mad at him. What is this, uh, Antoine Duan? They killing innocent men and y'all referring to them as criminals who do crime. They are crime. And you can take that Black Lives bush, I mean, uh, stuff off. I don't give a damn about Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter ain't worth a damn. You ain't doing nothing for black folk. All you radical ass Negroes, you, 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 you dashiki wearing Negroes with your fists in the air, you ain't doing a damn. You need to put your fists on your damn child at the house. If that Negro that wants to be the radical keeps on talking, take his ass off the page. I don't give a damn no more. I don't give a damn about your so-called black movement. There is no black movement. It seems as though the black movement now is the movement of killing innocent folk in the community. These Negroes ain't killing nobody but us. They, they, they don't go to the white folk and kill the white peoples. Because the white peoples, they get results. Oh yeah, all the white folk get results. Negro went over there and, and killed a white woman in Harvard Town. Caught his ass in three days. He'll never see outside. But we got Lady Washington, two years old. Been dead six months, I believe. Don't know nothing. Ten-year-old Richard Jordan, the third, was killed last week. We don't know nothing. Where the Black Lives Matter folk at? Where y'all at? Oh, y'all waiting for somebody white to kill somebody black. Then y'all gonna be up with your we shall overcomes and, and you wanna march and close down bridges with your dumb ass. You wanna close down a bridge. But you don't wanna close down the crack houses and the dope houses in our community. Mmm. 
damn a bridge. That didn't get you. Will y'all please take it? I ain't Stephon Smith. Linda, I ain't Stephen Smith. How, I don't know how that happened. Switch me back to something. Thank you. We have got to do something. Last year, 228 murders in this city. Where are we at now? About 200? And at the rate we're going, we're going to beat last year's number, sad to say. I called on the police. And y'all send this to Director Rollins, what I'm going to say. There is a curfew law on the books that is not being enforced. My, my good friend Mike Williams said last night when we were on Facebook that it would tie up a lot of police cars. Okay. Then let's get some school buses. Let's get the paddy wagons out. And let's do a sweep. Something got to give. We, we got to do something. But the law is on the book. Do I need to read the curfew law for y'all? So that y'all know that there is a law that the police department should enforce. Since the police director works at the pleasure of the mayor, why hasn't the mayor instructed that a sweep for minors go on? Why? Man, didn't give a damn about you as a black man, nothing but your vote to get into the office. Curfew law is on the books. What extra manpower, Lee Tuckson, what do you mean what extra manpower? You got police already out there. You got uh, the sheriff's department. You got the sheriff who's the highest ranking law enforcement area officer in the area. Just like they do all these sweeps for your insurance and all of that, your license, we need a sweep. Section 10 28 4 of the Memphis Minor Law. Your curfew law. It is unlawful for any minor between 17 and 18 years of age to remain in or upon any public street, highway, park, vacant lot, establishment, or other public place within the city during the following time frames. Monday through Thursday between the hours of 11 o'clock p.m. and 6 o'clock in the morning. Friday through Sunday between the hours of 12 midnight and 6 o'clock in the morning. It is unlawful for any minor 16 years of age and under to remain in or upon any public street, highway, park, vacant lot, establishment, or other public place within the city during the following time frames. Monday through Thursday. Now this 16, 
and under. I gave you 17 to 18. Monday through Thursday, between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 o'clock in the morning. Friday through Sunday, between the hours of 11 o'clock p.m. to 6 o'clock a.m. It is unlawful for a parent or legal guardian to knowingly permit or by inefficient control to allow such minor to be or remain upon any street or establishment under circumstances not constituting an exception to or otherwise beyond the scope of subsections A and B of this section. The term knowingly includes knowledge which a parent or guardian should reasonably be expected to have concerning the whereabouts of a minor in that parent's legal custody. The term knowingly is intended to continue to keep ne neglectful or careless parents up to a reasonable community standard of parental responsibility through an objective test. It is not a defense that a parent was completely indifferent to the activities or conduct or whereabouts of such a minor child. And it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. The law is on the move. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting this cold because, and the hoarseness, because these are some things that needs to be said and nobody else on the TV gonna say it. I'm the only TV personality that's got the balls to tell you what needs to be done. We'll find the excuse. We ain't got the police call. We ain't got, yes, you do have the manpower. Start hitting certain areas. Make a sweep of a certain area in South Memphis. Next week, make a certain sweep of North Memphis. What are we going to do? Not make any attempts? Oh, that's, that's what we've been doing all the time. Let me take a commercial break. We'll be right back. <clears throat> oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, man. That doesn't sound like I'm losing my voice. It sounds fine. Huh? Just a little tighter. It sounds fine. I sound... Strong. Mm. I feel bad. Huh? I got finished for a show, dog blow. And I can't stop in the middle of the show and go home.
I ain't finna take no cast oils. I ain't finna take no three sixes. Thank y'all. Uh, yeah, Zachary will acknowledge that fool. John King Jula Akers. If you don't know what three sixes is, boy, you gotta be a youngster. <coughs> and that Father John's. Woo. Yeah. Take me another cough drop. Uh. Y'all didn't know what three sixes was. Boy, y'all got me some kids. They got me kids. Well, everybody wasn't messing to take that. By the time I got old enough to take, to realize what medicine was, that's when pretty emotion came out. So that's when that cannabis medicine started coming out. Boy, you took that three sixes. Now, I remember the castor Ooh. oil. Oh, cod liver oil. Three sixes, father dog. I ain't going to get no compound from Dr. Champion. That's my friend, though. Uh, I got to do something tonight. You hear me? Huh? Get you some of that. You might need some of that spray. I know you got the little inhaler. I got my little inhaler. Y'all don't remember these inhalers, yeah, do you? You get a rush off of that. Woo! You want another one played or you want to come back after that? Ah, oh, bring me all back. Don't forget to go to Find Your Max. Uh, they're going to have a big special on this Friday. Y'all call that Black.
Friday. Go and get yourself some some furniture at uh, at your house for for the holidays. Also, M and K Men's Fashions, located at thirty seven nineteen Hickory Hill, the Hickory Hill store, right next to A and R Barbecue, up there where Chuck E. Cheese is and all of that. Uh, they're having a big Black Friday special as well. Sales are uh, starting now until this weekend. They got shoes stopped at $9.99 now. Can't beat that. All of the Stacey Allen's, $50. $50 a pair for Stacey Allen's. And then you can get three pair for $100. They got shirt sets starting at $19.99 with the tie, the hanky, and the cufflinks. Ties are two for $20. They got suits, suits, starting at $39.99. And sports jackets starting at $39.99 as well. These specials for Black Friday is only at the Hickory Hill location. Go on by there, 3719 Hickory Hill. They got some great deals for you also at the American Way store. Hey guys, do not forget, especially those of you guys who suffer from erectile dysfunction, that you gonna have to do something for the holidays besides eat turkey. You gonna have to gobble, gobble, all right, but uh, you are going to have to satisfy your woman. I will be at the church as bad as I feel. I still got stuff to do. I'm taking Thursday off, but I should be in the church about 10, 10 30 on tomorrow. I got the 72 hour blessing. Are you ready for me to release the 72 hour blessing? If that thing ain't working, your woman is not happy, brother. I want to tell you, I want to share with you. She gonna get her some turkey, some dressing, somewhere else, okay? And all you gonna have is some shit, I mean, some ch uh, chitlins. I got my S and my C messed up, okay? Uh, but look, I got the magic. I got the coffee, and I got the new thing, the 70 hour blessing, 72 hour blessing. Why do you call it that? If that thing ain't been working and then all of a sudden it gets hard again, that's a blessing. Touch your neighbor and say, that's a blessing. Every man wants that blessing. Oh, and I want to release the 72 hour blessing on you right now. Doesn't mean that for 72 hours it's going to stay hard. It means that if you are aroused within that 72 hour period, that there is a working, uh, thing that's going to work. That's, and you women better come get it. Now, I can't promise you what time I'm coming in Friday. I'll be there sometime Friday. Uh, but you're going to come over tomorrow. Ain't but $10 a pack, and I don't sell less than three packs. You need to come on and get yourself a 72-hour blessing. You tried the coffee, and the coffee is working wonders. I've got men in their 70s and their 80s that uh, that thing working for them again. But the juice, I'm, and I'm the only somebody in town that got the juice. You just put it in some water, stir it up, drink it, and you're gonna be all right. In fact, let me show you, let me show you. Thought I had a cup, okay. Get your cup, guys. Get you some water. I wonder if it's gonna help me with my cold. Huh? Yes. Put you some water in it. Don't get you no, this ain't gonna make you no lemonade. It ain't gonna make you no pitcher. It's gonna make you a glass. Okay? Okay. Cause you want that thing to work. Bring in Thanksgiving right. Okay? Then you take the juice. Come in three flavors. This is strawberry lemon. Is that the name of it? 
strawberry and the lemon. Lemon didn't come in lemon and straight strawberry. You open it up, okay, and you put it in the glass. Yes. Then you take the spoon and you stir the ingredients all up. This is natural herbs. There's no uh, chemicals or anything on that. Uh, what I has been on the road doing? Oh. Uh, Memphis Diablo says it was hard. It's okay. Thank you, Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, once you stir it, you drink it. Get some good stuff. And guys, within about 15 minutes, you should start feeling the difference. Uh, yes, you'll start feeling it. I got the coffee for you. For those of you who are coffee drinkers, drink it. I, I had one guy uh, came to me and said, his was damn near dead. He wanted the juice. He put him two juices in that. Stirred it up, and he was a work not in progress. I guess he was a work in progress. He worked, he said. His woman thanked him for coming to see me. Ladies, you may need to come and see me for your man. He he got pride and all that kind of stuff. Uh, pride, and it ain't working, ain't worth a damn thing. So come on and see me. I'll be at the church about 1030. Come to the front door, ring the doorbell. Dale will let you in or I'll let you in. Come on in and get yourself a 72-hour blessing. You want a blessing? It sounds like it's clearing my voice up a little bit, don't it? <laughs> huh? Dale. Dale. Don't ring me for so long, T-Dale. Huh? It sounds like it. It does. It, it seems like it's trying to do some wonders on my voice, I'm going to damn. So, uh, get you some, okay? Get get you some, uh, get you some, or oh, get you. What, Arisa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you pray my strength and love, Arisa. Amen. Here's a man saying, wait a minute. I'm 72 years old. I drunk too. This woman said, you sure you not 27? I was standing up in it, beside it, and stomped on it. Thank you, brother. As be a witness. Come get you some. Okay? Come get you some. It works. If your man's thing ain't working, baby, you got to buy at least three. Come on by the churches. This is part of my outreach ministry. Okay? Come on by. Oh, yeah. When a man thing is working, he he happy at the house. Okay? And you're going to treat him better. If it ain't been working and all of a sudden it starts working, you're going to treat him a whole lot better at the house as as well. Yes, it do, Iris. It, it, it'll be all right. Again, pray my strength in the law. Okay? All right. Uh, long here somebody say you need to boil four lemons and honey, 100 proof granddad, drink three cups and go to bed. Okay. I'm going to go to bed and look at my cowboy channel. If y'all like them old cowboy movies, go to 281. That's on Comcast. You get all the good old cowboy and Indian movies. Some that I ain't seen in 50 years. All right. We've talked tonight, how evil have you allowed your child to become? Uh, if you need to know where the church is, put the church lower thirds up for me. Uh, Linda, if you please. Ooh, Nick, ooh, I like that. that. That looks real nice there. 
Naked truth, liberation. You did that, Linda? I like that. Keep that one in there. Now. I like that one. The, the little thirds is what y'all see down there. That's, that was a little technical TV talk I was doing then. Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries, 3835, Raleigh Militant, Memphis, Tennessee, 38128. Phone number is 435-6161. Okay? Uh, 435-6161. All right. And I'd love to see you on this Sunday morning. I wrote my title down on something there. Is it? On the top of what? Sometimes I forget my own stuff. I be the rope down. Uh, it ain't over here, Dale. Oh, but I remember, I think. Sunday morning. It ain't the size of your weapon. It's the strength behind it. That's the message for Sunday morning. It ain't the size of your weapon that you're trying to fight with. Mm. It's the strength that you got behind your weapon. Mm. I'm, I'm going to let you know Sunday morning that size don't count. Size don't matter. It ain't the size of your weapon. It's the strength that's behind it. We're going to talk about David and Goliath. Gol Goliath had a big weapon. David had nothing but a slingshot. But he was able to bring the giant down. It ain't the size of your weapon. It's the strength you got behind your weapon. Oh, can I get some help up in this house? Amen. Don't forget tomorrow, uh, probably about 3 or 4 o'clock, we're going to start. It's cold outside. And I've got about 120 blankets. And I, I'm going to be out in the community tomorrow. We'll be in the Naked Truth van. And I'm going to be going into areas where I know that there are people sleeping outdoors. And I'm going to make sure that they have at least a hundred people are going to get blankets. I might not can do them all tomorrow. But I'm going to do as many as I can tomorrow. I'll do some again on Friday. I'm, I'm going to take, what's the lady's name over at the nursing home? Miss Dorothy Davis over at the Parkway uh, Nursing Home. When I went to see her about a month ago, I promised her a blanket. I'm going over there and take care of a blanket. I might have to leave several blankets over there for some of the elderly in the uh, nursing home. But this is the outreach. This is what I do. This is what Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries is all about. It's a transformation center. You know, when we, we, when we get out, when we got the building, there's a uh, sign in the yard next to a part of our property that says Transformation Center. So that's what we're there for. We're there to transform lives. I am not your traditional pastor by any shape, stretch of the imagination. Folk will get mad at me because sometimes I'll cuss. I will. I will. And again, pray my strength in the Lord. At least I ain't doing some of the things y'all doing. Mm-hmm. Amen. In the name of the Lord. It's real. It's, people are looking for realness. And I invite you to come and be a part of this particular ministry. Okay, we're going to be out there working. So, uh, But Thursday, I'm going to rest. Uh, I, I, I've got to rest. In fact, in 19 months, I haven't taken a day off in 19 months. I'm at the church every day. I'm working every day. So I got to take some time for me. Uh, a preacher that I knew died in the pulpit last 
Thursday night, uh, Reverend Cunningham. No, no, no. And at 60 years old, I got to realize that I got to take care of me. That's when I lost all this weight. I didn't have no damn surgeries. I didn't need no surgery to lose no weight. I made a determination in my mind that I was going to lose it. I'm 60 and I want to hear another 60. I want to stay on TV and radio another 60 years. I do. I ain't in no hurry to see Jesus. Y'all want to see Jesus, y'all go ahead on. Tell him I'll see him later. I ain't in no hurry. But I've got, I've got to do some things. I got to do some things differently. I've got a work to do. I've got a work that I was called to do. Many pastors in this community don't have the balls, they don't have the courage to say the things that I say. They want to hoop and holler at you on Sunday morning. They want to run and jump you, let you fall all out. They want to speak in some unknown tongues. Well, we've got to speak to a tongue that folk are going to understand us. And I got to share with you again that many of these young folk that's out here killing, they are demonically possessed. And the only way that they are going to be healed is in a pine box. They don't want to change. They don't. Mm -mm. I think next Sunday, Dale, I'm going to do come out from the in crowd. I think that's what I'm put that down. I, that's what I'm, I'm gonna. They want to be a part of the drug boys. Okay, they want to be in the game. We can't blame it on nobody. It starts at the house, y'all. It it starts at the house. It don't start at the schoolhouse. It starts at your house. Don't get pregnant if you don't want the responsibility of what you're doing. Well, the man got a responsibility too. That's your coochie. Let me say it again. That's your one. You know, you knew when you laid down with him and he didn't put no condom on that you could get pregnant. You knew when you laid down with him, he didn't have no job. Didn't have no address. He lived with his mama. So if he lived with his mama, how he gonna help you be a mama? See, so so I'm I, I, I'm tired of you women claiming victimism. You ain't no damn victim. You made the choice. If you single, you made the choice. If you got eight babies by eight different men, who you think wants you, baby? I done gave my life to Jesus, but you done gave your ass to everybody in town. Can, I, can the pastor just be real? That's when they call me Pastor Raw. Huh? You done had eight babies, now you want to give your heart to the Lord. I done changed Jesus. After eight babies by eight different men, you ought to be done changed. Because that thing ain't no good no more. It ain't got no walls in it. It ain't got no elasticity in it. It ain't going to grip nothing. It don't even like for you to go to the bathroom and pee. It's just used up. I'll touch your neighbor and just say, used up. It's used up. If you don't want your child to be killed by society, then raise him right. Train him up. In the right way. Yes, I know that there are some children that's going to get out here and they're impressionable and they're going to get out here and do some evil things, but you got a responsibility at your house. Check your house. Go through the closets. Go under the bed. Search the room. Do like they do in the jailhouse. Do a surprise check on the rooms in the house. Well, that's my room. You ain't got no damn room, because to have a room, you got to have a house. And this one belongs to me. I pay the mortgage here. 
Quit being buddies with your children. But I got to share with you, all of us are not going to have grace and mercy on your child. I'm too old. I even try to wrestle with none of these young bucks. But I'll kill him dead. It ain't shame. See, something has got to happen. A movement has got to take place in our community that says to these young hoodlums with their evilness that we are no longer going to accept your evil ways. We're not going to accept this madness that you got going on. We can't accept it no more. Yeah, that's what you do a shakedown in your house. Look under the mattress. Check the book bag. Know what's coming in your house. Know the company that your child is keeping. Quit letting them go to the party and you don't know who holding the party. What adult is going to be there at the party. Yeah. Check their phone. Check their Facebook page. You don't block me. How your child block you and he living in your house? Huh? How your child block you and he lives in your house? You need access to all of his social media pages. Y'all man, these iPads and these phones for these children. I didn't buy my child's. He bought it himself. You still need to know what's going on in your house. Check his phone. Check the pictures in his phone. Check who he texted. Well, you infringing on their privacy. You ain't got no privacy in my house. Get you a house, then you get you some privacy. How are you going to have some privacy in my house? Yeah, take the door off the hinges. I'm going to close my door. You ain't got no door. See, when y'all take back ownership of your children, take ownership and possession of your house, things in this community is going to change. That's the reason. Look, let me tell you. Everybody needs to have a gun. Oh, yeah. See, the criminals shouldn't be the only somebody with the gun. You need a gun, too. So that's the reason, naked truth, this uh, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at the offices of Goldsmith Security Academy. Me and you always inboxing, me and Dale, about uh, somebody said my daughter wouldn't give me her password to her phone. I broke the damn phone. I bought it. Break it! See, y'all got, oh, I, I'm going to come back to the show. I'm coming back. Y'all ain't got no control in your house. Break it. You bought it, break it. How did your child not give you the password? In fact, if you bought it and the phone is in your name, you need to go to wherever the carrier is and every month pick up who they texting. Get you a copy of the text messages that's coming from your phone. It is your phone. You bought it. It's in your name. Don't buy the phone for your child and put it in their name. Put it in your name. 
So all you got to do is go to AT&T, Cricket, whatever them companies y'all got, and get yourself a printout of who they call in. Yeah, you need to get a printout of who they are calling. They got a car? Get your GPS. Put it on the car. You can go to the computer. Just like when they're looking for y'all cars and y'all trying to hide the cars. Uh -uh. I trust my child as far as I can see it. Your child will act a fool when they get out of your house. You need to know the password of everything your child got. Look on your child's Facebook page. See, how y'all some mamas, and I, and, I, and I see some of the stuff I see on Facebook with young men with guns on Facebook, counting money, and they got nail job, throwing gang signs, but they living in your house. Y'all are allowing the ratchet, evil behavior to take place. If they got guns, they in your house, baby. Look at the colors that they're wearing. If they always get on reds and blues and stuff, you need to know Some of y'all crazy enough. I'm gonna have a family meet. We gonna sit down and we gonna discuss some things. Ain't have no damn. What y'all having a meeting with a child for? See, we have family discussions and family meetings. What am I going to discuss with a child? I pay all the bills. What I got to discuss with you? Well, see, the children got right. You got rights. You got a right to do whatever I tell you to do as long as you're living under my roof. You ain't got no damn rights. You ain't got no equal rights. I got the declaration and you of independence. I'm the only independent person in the house. You going you my slave. You gonna do what I say. Or find your new address. Y'all don't want to whoop their ass. Well, see, the law, if you live in my house, I'm going to get that ass. And your child needs to know that you don't give a damn about the police. You're going to get that ass if they in your house. I'm beginning to that juice working on some things. Quit giving your child the rule of your house. As for me in my house, we're going to serve the law. And you're going to do what I say. And when you get, to, like the old folks you say, you start to smell in yourself, you need to get you an aroma that's in a new address. And if you ain't teaching your children, don't expect folk to accept your wild children. You're breaking the house. You bring it, man, I got to kill you. I got to kill you. You got to die. Yeah, got to die, got to die. When are we as a people going to wake up? Stop making excuses for the criminal element in our community. If you want to go to school, you want to be rehabilitated, you want somebody to help you, I'm here to help you. But if you want to rob and kill, I want you dead. 
He going to get bailed out the while. How many folks he got to rob before he get bailed? How many folks he got to carjack before he get bailed? How many old women he going to rape before he gets bailed? Quit crying the Pope pill from Saul. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Put his ass out your house. At 18, he needs to be gone anyway. Okay, see, so you can have too many grown folk in the house. No, as I got a house, he can come back. No, baby, that's reason your man ain't no good for no woman right now. Because you keep letting him come back. You need tomorrow. If you got your child has a cell phone in your name, pull the records every month of all the calls that's going out and coming in. Mm -hmm. You need to look at the pictures in your phone. You need to find out what apps they got on their phone. Go through the phone and see what apps they got. Because you can put apps on your phone that hide certain pictures. You need to go through the phone. Don't just look at it on the surface. Look for what is hidden. Let's take a commercial break and we'll be back here on the Thaddeus Man TV show. So glad when this one is over. You scared to whoop your child shit. See y'all children ain't scared of y'all. Saints and Jackson, I am a pastor. You don't like what I say? Get your ass off the page. You one of them poop ass mammoths that's allowing your child to do any damn thing. If you don't like what I'm saying, you a stupid wench. Get your goddamn ass off the page. In fact, bitch, bye. See, I can tell which city women come here who allow their children to do anything. Y'all come up here with this craziness. <sighs> Boy, I took that little juice. I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh, I feel my health now. Yeah, <laughs> She can't answer you to me. She gone. She gone. Bill Bell, that man that was liking you, wasn't he? Huh? All in your inbox and stuff. <laughs> You know she let me see your your message, Bill. <laughs> oh. I feel good, good, good. I feel good. Oh yes, my love. Ooh. Time to get back out in that air. Um, yeah, I got something brown at the house. Do you have, I don't have anything brown. Do you have lemons? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I got some lemons at the house. That's 
one of these mornings. Oh. You guys on here, you need to come and get you some of uh, our 72 hour blessing. They didn't want to pay my price, Ma. Oh, I'm so ready to get off this air. Huh? Last I do need to get some rest. Three, two. And welcome back to the Thaddeus Matthews show. Y'all caught me with this cough drop in my mouth. Oh. But I'm going to, uh, when I get off, go and do the things that's necessary uh, to make myself feel better. I'm going to bed, lay up in the TV, and either look at Law and Order or. Uh, my favorite TV show ain't on the night. But I've been looking at it all day at the office anyway. Blue Bloods is, is, is my favorite uh, right show. I watch Blue Bloods. I haven't seen all of them. Uh, Blue Bloods in the heat of the night. Uh, but sometimes I, I, I reminisce to my young days and uh, I go back and look at the Cowboys and Indians and uh, I remember the Cowboys and Indians when I was a young guy. But we got Cowboys and Indians right here in the city of Memphis. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, Cody, all you got to do, you can go to PayPal, my brother. Go to PayPal. That way I know your, your money all up. Is uh, we ain't got to wait on the money, or you can go to PayPal and get some of uh, the product like LaBelle McCray did in Oakland, uh, California. So I want all of you to have uh, the product. Yes, Kat, I, I am. I'm gonna give me some rest, man. I'm trying to burn the, can the candle. Um, at both ends. And like I said, I haven't taken a day off in 19 months. I usually took me a cruise or something, but uh, Naked Troop Liberation and Empowerment Ministries has kept me busy. 
for these 19 months. And I invite you, like tomorrow, we're gonna start with the blankets on tomorrow. I may not get all 100 of them out tomorrow. Uh, I'll do some Friday, but I'm going to rest on Thanksgiving Day. Because I, if I drop dead, y'all ain't gonna send no flower to the film. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start taking some time uh, and do some things uh, for myself. Ashley Renee Kirk, she 31 today. Happy birthday, baby. I, I remember when I was 31 years old. That seems like a whole lifetime ago. But the ministry, Naked Truth, is the most important thing that I do. Okay? Uh, and trying to empower people and to liberate them is my mission. You may not like my approach, it, but I don't make you come and watch me, whether it's on the TV, or uh, I love you too, what's her name? Zadiku, you must be one of them foreign girls. The Kuda, the Rosa, Farah, maybe I'll mess up a name. Uh, but I, I've got to be about my father's business and that's liberating people. And I don't give a damn what folks say. Like I told you last night, don't send me inboxes and text messages about what somebody said about me. Don't give a damn, they wanna be me. Okay? Don't, don't do that. I, I don't have time to, see my focus is not on irrelevant people. These people are go on Facebook and talk negative about me. They talk negative about me because the only way they can get some views is to talk about me. I don't care, okay? I've been doing what I do for almost 34 years in broadcasting. So I don't care. Facebook has made people think that they're stars. And again, the only somebody, act, street activist that I'm working with is Scat Cat. Because I've seen what he does and I, and I believe that what he's doing is real. And a lot of folk that was disliking me, they dislike him now because we get along. We ain't got no beef. And most of the folks that got a beef with me don't even know why they got a beef with me. But I paid the dues to be in the position that I'm in and do what I'm doing. But let me go back to what I was saying a little bit earlier. On this Saturday at 9 a.m. at 5116 Raleigh LaGrange Road, that's off of Covington Pike, we're going to be having and sponsoring a gun class so that you can get your handgun carry permit. I've had you call me and word me about where can I get a gun permit? Well, I'm making it available to you for $100. You get an eight hour course. You're gonna learn the laws on where to shoot. You can't just pull a gun on somebody and shoot them because they're in your yard, baby. You in the jail, okay? There's got to be a danger element. You got to be in fear for your life. You're going to learn the anatomy of a gun, how to break a gun down, how to clean a gun, how to hold the weapon, how to shoot. You will be going to the firing range as well. If you do not have a weapon, don't worry about it. Sean has plenty of guns. That's the reason why my security people, oh yeah, y'all come up and Nigga truth with that stuff if you want. We got some AK 47s, 27s, and 97s if it's needed. Cannons, bazookas, uh, whatever we need, come up in yonder and act the fool. We're going to send you all up yonder. I'm going up yonder. Yeah, you'll be singing that song. But you need to get in this class. Ladies, get in the class. This is whether you're in Tennessee or Mississippi. Come get in the class. The number, call Sean right now. Look, write this number down. Get your, get your piece of paper. 
Okay. Uh, get your piece, you got your piece of paper. Six three four eight three eight four. Call Sean right now. Ten minutes to nine. Call him. Six three four eight three eight four. Six three four eight three eight four. Six three four eight three eight four. Call him. Tell him, look, Sean, I want to be in that class on Saturday morning, 5116 Raleigh LaGrange. You'll leave that with your certification that you need to go and get your carry permit. Don't let the enemies in the street, these terrorists in the street, don't let them be the only ones that are on. Please take care of yourself. That number six three four eight three eight four. Now, some of you mamas, I got another number for you. Mamas, with these evil children that's out here robbing and killing, and you ain't got no insurance. And when y'all explain to me, how y'all don't have no insurance and then y'all go buy t-shirts? Fuel ain't paid for. And y'all got Puka's picture on the damn t-shirt. $20 a shirt. Y'all could have gained the Undertaker that money. But anyway. But here's a number for you mothers with these children that so that y'all don't have to have no spaghetti dinners, pick up no cans, stand on the cone. Write this number down. Okay. Six four nine four seven three eight. Six four nine four seven three eight. For a guaranteed next day in home free quote for a licensed field underwriter. Heritage Funeral Advantage gives your loved one peace of mind knowing they have an experienced partner to ease the burden of planning and paying for your final expenses. You have to live in one of them lives, or your children have to live in one of them lives, get them insured, baby, okay? You can get up to $30,000. He ain't worth 30 cents, but you can get your $30,000 of coverage up to age 85. No medical exam is required to apply. Claims are paid within 24 hours upon claim approval. Call this number. It's area code 901 649 4738. And just in case it get killed and it's clothes ain't clean, you need to put some clean clothes on in the casket. Go to DMC Cleaners. They're located at 62 Fairway. Uh, that's right there at Fairway and 30th. Same day service, in by 9 a.m. You can get your clothes back the same day. Uh, when you pay in advance, you only pay half price, okay? Call them at 789-7983, 789-7983. They're open Mondays through Saturdays, from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Also, I'm looking at our Lewis Health Today Foundation. They provide educational, transitional, and housing services to those in need in Shelby County. They also offer a re-entry program for those who have been incarcerated to help them find housing as well. Uh, they promote self-sufficiency, uh, they have an advocate program, health and wellness, and education. Give them a call. They're located at 3850 Visco. Give them a call at 654-3003. Woo, how many more minutes I got? I got five whole minutes. Oh, I'm going to go and do something about this cold, Okay. I feel bad. Hey, guys, look, if you want to advertise, 
between now and Friday, you can call me and I'll give you, those of you that want a visual commercial, I'll give you a visual commercial to the end of the year for $1,000. For $1,000. You pay the production cost of $300 a one-time fee, and I'll lock that price in for you for $1,000 a month to advertise on the Thaddeus Matthews Show, where that price is normally $2,000 a month. Can't be no politician. You got to be in business, okay? All right. You want to advertise, call me. Y'all know my number, 949-3000, 949-3000. Uh, I feel real bad, y'all. And again, tonight's one of those nights that I should have went over to the house um, and rest. Again, I have not taken a day off in 19 months. Not only am I fighting this COVID, I'm tired. And if you had to deal with the stress that Thaddeus Matthews deals with, woo! But look, we're getting ready for the Christmas special. Put the... Uh, uh, the PayPal up. I need your help. I want to make sure that 50 children have a very Merry Christmas. If you would like to adopt a child, you can do that as well. Will you send me $25? Okay? Will you send me 50? Will you send me 10? PayPal.me forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. All of the income that is generated goes into ministry. Again, I'm the pastor that don't get paid. I don't get none. But the satisfaction of ministry, that's all I get. I need you to go there. PayPal.me forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. You looking for a place to tie to PayPal.me forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. I surely would appreciate you. Put the giver file out there in case you can't get through on PayPal, Naked Truth, Liberation, and Empowerment Ministries at giverfile.com as well. Thank you so very much for being here on tonight. Uh, again, as P.T. Barnum, I think that was going to say, the show must go on. I did feel good, but there were some things that were needed to say. I will be back live on tomorrow night. I'm going home. I'm going home and nurse this cold, make me a tonic, take me some Alka-Sassel Plus. I got some at home. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to get up in that super king-size bed and just relax. Hey, guys, don't forget, come get your 72-hour blessing. I'll be to church at least by 10.30 in the morning. We're going to get the blankets out in the community also on tomorrow. So until tomorrow evening, thank you so much again for joining me. Talk of the evening to you. Uh, good night, y'all.